Hello and welcome to another little workshop diaries vlog. Uh, as you can tell the hat is on because it is getting very very wintry. Very wintry indeed. Uh, we do have this lovely little Pegaso. We've literally just bought it in and it's sold pretty much straight away so we've got the mechanical and habitation checks to do on, my, on this. I think Adam's going to be doing that later. Have a customer's little eldest in. Uh, that's, that is back in for habitation and service. Uh, I think we've got a few more bits to do on the Alphard. I think we're waiting for parts on the Alphard actually, which is literally story of our life, we're waiting for parts. Pretty much that is what we do at the moment. A uh, little Roma home, I think that Roma home is pretty much done. So my next project is this lovely, on the ramp, if you can see in the distance, this little transporter. Uh, lovely little conversion, really nice looking van. Uh, I really like the interior in this. It's like red, black, black leather interior. Um, so yeah, this is my next project. Um, just, just going through some of the checks, um, put the diesel heater on, just notice there was a few fumes coming into the cab which is obviously is not good uh, so I thought I'd, I'd check the install of the diesel heater just to make sure and uh, we have got a Chinese diesel heater which you know they're okay there's nothing wrong with them but I must admit the fitting kits they give with them they are pretty pretty horrendous what what they give you is like these really nasty cheap cheap clips which guaranteed pretty much to break um so yeah there's a i think there's a few there's a little hole here in the intake you can see that tiny little hole there this is the air ducting this takes air from the inside of the van goes through the heater the heat exchanger and then the hot air comes out this side and i think what's happening is the diesel fumes come out here which i also need to just extend this out ever so slightly i'll just try and put a uh i have a little bit of pipe a little bit of exhaust pipe so i'll just try and extend that out just a tiny bit because it doesn't quite come outside the cover um but yes there also is also a little hot in that as well so yeah i've got to fix all this up i did notice we had a few other problems with it as well uh hose clamp wasn't there wasn't even a hose clamp on that so the exhaust side was actually a little bit loose which again is not good there is an exhaust clamp on there which is good um but we also had holes in the floor there was quite a where the air ducting goes through in back into the van there was some quite large holes there uh so you probably get a few little fumes in there as well so i've sealed i've sealed both the inlet and the outlet so they're all nice and sealed to the body now. Uh, so yeah, I've just got to basically correct a few little bits here. Uh, make sure it's all good. Make sure it's all okay. There's a, a few little bits, a few little niggly bits inside to do. So I'll show you what I'll get on with. Yeah, so it's not, it's not, it's not good, but it's not bad either. Just a bit of fettling really is needed. So I will cue the time lapse and show you what I get up to. workshop lights flickering anyway right so we're a little bit better now i'm a little bit happier new hose clips uh, got rid of the damaged bit of pipe uh, i've used uh, foil ceiling tape as well 
just to make sure that that is all all nice and sealed done the same that end uh, you've got to be really careful with these pipes because they, they split really really easily so if you do them up like tight uh, you'll probably actually split this so i have a runner foil on the inside as well on the inside where the hose clip is just to stop it from splitting so uh, but i have also sealed the outside as well so we should should be all right now i couldn't quite get that to that's obviously the wrong diameter so i couldn't quite get it onto this uh, silencer uh, so i've just moved the silencer forward a little bit uh, to this way and forward so that the exhaust is outside the cover because before the exhaust was just sort of inside the cover so you might have been getting exhaust gases sort of swirling up into here so yeah that is those bits sorted for today but as you can see it is extremely dark now so it is home time so i will crack on with this tomorrow right day two i think we're ready to run the diesel heater up now i see have a little look for leaks There we go, there's the fuel pump coming in now. And the glow plug has just ignited the diesel. So yeah, at least the smoke is going out, hopefully under there. So hopefully, because I need to put a gas drop vent down here as well. So obviously I don't want it to get it too close to this. So we could have fumes them coming up in through the uh, gas drop vent. But it looks okay, it's a better position now, it's a bit further out. Right, I'm a bit happier with that now. Um, I've just been inside, in, just been inside the vehicle, there's no diesel smells in, inside or anything like that now, so I'm happy that there's no, no air, like diesel fumes leaking back into the, into the cabin. So I've had a little check round, no air leaks anymore. This is all nice and sealed. So yeah, I'm a bit, bit happier with this now. So now all I've got to do is put a gas drop vent in. I need to work out where I'm going to put that. Uh, I need to put it up there somewhere. I need to work that out in a bit. But yeah, I've obviously moved that out slightly so the exhaust gases are coming out a little bit further out because I think they were getting caught inside the cover and with the air intake I think leaking in here I think it was just pulling it was just pulling fumes back into the cabin which obviously we don't want so yeah 